Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up products within ClickFunnels, so let's get straight into it. So here we are in ClickFunnels, and first things first, you do have to have the correct type of page in order to add products in ClickFunnels. So you come to sales here, here and order form pages, one-click upsell pages, and one-click downsell pages. These three page types are the only page types that can have products added to them within ClickFunnels. Like you can't add a product to a sales page or a product launch page or any other page type. So order form, one click upsell, one click downsell. So make sure that you have the correct page type selected in order to add a product. So I'm gonna do order form because you need an order form before you can get to the OTOs and the downsells. So we'll start with order form, click that. And then we can just select whatever template. It doesn't matter because I'm just doing this for fun. So select our template here. And now with this page type, you'll notice in the gray bar right here, we have the option to add products. So we click on this and add a new product to funnel step. So that's what we wanna do. So add a product or add product. And then we wait for it to load. All right, now we got the name of the product. So this could be product one or whatever the name of your product is. Billing integration. So there's like 10 different billing integrations you can use with ClickFunnels. Uh, primarily, I use Stripe, but they just integrated with PayPal version 2.0, Infusionsoft, Braintree, etc. So if you have a different payment gateway, you could hopefully connect it. Otherwise, I typically recommend Stripe to most people. So I'm going to go with Stripe. And then amount. So this is the amount you want to charge somebody. So let's say we want to charge them $10. So we enter 10 there. You could also do, of course, percent. So if you want to 10, or not percent, per, uh, cents, pennies. Uh, so if you wanted 10.95, you just 10.95, right? Makes sense. Amount or currency, of course, you can select the correct currency for what you're charging. Mine is USD. Price display on order form. So if you don't want your price, it's so so your price is going to display as whatever you enter here. So $10.95. If you wanted to say something else, you can enter that here. Uh, for example, if you wanted to do like free plus 10. 95 shipping and handling you could enter that right there or sometimes it could be like only ten dollars 10.95 normally you know 15.95 or whatever so you could change how the price appears on the order form uh, by changing the value in this field here i'll show you what i mean as we preview the field f or the form if this is not like making sense to you so i'm going to leave it at this so we'll look for this when we check out our form and then it asks us, should this product be the bump on the order page? So a bump is a little checkbox on the order form, which allows people to add another product to their order by simply checking the box. They're like, yes, I want this added to my order. You probably know what an order bump is, you've probably seen them before, uh, but that's all it is. So if this is a bump product, you check that box. If it's just a regular product, you don't check the box, right? Hopefully that makes some sense. And then we got Stripe integration. So since I selected Stripe, I have some different settings down here. If you select a different payment gateway, you might have other settings. There's subscription. Now subscriptions are a little bit more advanced and I'll include a link to how to set up a subscription product down below. So ClickFunnels has a very good article on how to set that up. It's a, a few more extra steps. You gotta go to Stripe, set up your subscription, then connect it to ClickFunnels. One-time products, however, uh, are very easy to do. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. So we've got product description. So this could be like my product one or whatever the description is. Again, this appears on your, your customer's credit card statement. So you want it to make some sense. Like, so when they're looking at it, they're like, oh yeah, that's right, I ordered that. You don't want some craziness in there where they're gonna be like, what is this? Fraud and request a chargeback or something like that. Uh, they just added this option for product quantity limiter. So you could limit the number or the quantity of products people can order uh, and then max quantity and then pre-sale quantity. So you can mess with these to give different perceived you know, quantities or limit the number of orders you're taking in. I'm not gonna mess with that here, but these options are now available. Moving over, we have fulfillment email. And this is an email that ClickFunnels automatically kicks out when somebody buys one of your products. Uh, you can, of course, change the subject line, change the body content. It is HTML friendly, so you can make it look pretty much however you want. Um, and then also there's the opportunity to basically connect to a thank you page or a membership access area. So if you have a thank you page or a membership access area, you would select that down here. And uh, 
it would basically dynamically fill in this link here or and or on your order confirmation page it'll there's going to be like a little link at the bottom of that page or on that page that says like access your product here click here and that link is connected to whatever you set here so hopefully that makes some sense i'll try and show it to you in just a minute here uh, so you know what i'm talking about now if you don't want to send this fulfillment email because maybe you're handling these emails through your automation tool maybe you're using active campaign or aweber or mailchimp or something else and you want to send the order confirmation email from that service in order to not send this fulfillment email all you have to do is delete the subject line if you delete if you delete the subject line then this email will not go out so that's just something to note i don't use these emails ever i always send the emails from my automation tool or through the automations tab I'm not going into that in this video but there's other ways to send emails than this way. So if you don't wanna send this type, delete the subject line. Up next, we have email integration. So this is how you can connect to your email automation tool. Again, I use ActiveCampaign, but Aweber, MailChimp, uh, dozens of other automation tools you can integrate with. So it makes it real easy and do one real quick. So select my ActiveCampaign account. What I wanna do, add to list, add to list with tag, delete from list, remove tag, go add to list with tag, select my list add my tag whatever that may be and just like that when somebody purchases this product now it's going to automatically add them to my crazy Eye marketing list and give them that tag which could of course trigger different automations and do all sorts of crazy cool stuff moving on um, there's a membership integration because i'm integrated with kajabi so i have an opportunity to like set up a direct integration with my product and Kajabi right here. So if you have that integration set up, you can do that. Also there's shipping integrations you can integrate with. There's Kanaki, Disk Deliver, Shopify. And I think there's a couple other ones. There's like ShipStation as well. So depending on which services you've integrated with ClickFunnels, you'll have different options on this tab right here to go ahead and set up and configure. And then we have an affiliates option. So if you have Backpack, which is part of ClickFunnels $297 a month plan, you can have affiliates and you can set those settings over here under this tab. So that's how you create a product. Let me hit this create a product button and then we'll come check out our form real quick. So let me pop it up and we'll see what our product looks like. So scrolling on down here, we see now product one and then we got the price only 1095, normally 1595. Remember I set that custom price then uh, that's what that did. So instead of just showing 1095, we have it showing this right here. And that essentially covers how you go ahead and add a product to ClickFunnels. Hopefully this was helpful to you and have a great day.